hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and I am back with a yoga sculpt workout. It's been a minute, thank you for your patience and I know that you'll absolutely love this class. So it's just 30 minutes, short, simple, quick and we're only gonna use one prop. So a medium heavy weight, I have five pounds here. Grab whatever you have at home or you can always omit the weight as well. It will be lots of cardio, some targeted workouts, that sort of thing, and some yoga, of course. Little disclaimer, we're not gonna do a long stretch or a shavasana at the end. We'll do a tiny shavasana at the end of class. So if you need to set out time to pause the video and that sort of thing, go ahead and prepare yourself. And as always, there's a Spotify playlist, so link is in the description. One more thing before we get started, I'm leading a challenge starting next week, Monday, the 18th of October. It's a two week fitness, yoga, meditation, journaling challenge on Afterglow Studio, my virtual studio. It's going to be so, so fun and amazing. I am so excited to share this with you. It's all centered around gratitude and the prizes are the best they've been yet for my challenges. So all the info's in the description and I really would love for you to join. All right, let's get started. Tabletop. Suck your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers, find a neutral spine to start, gaze it slightly forward. And then on your inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale to tuck round, push into the hands and arch the back. Couple more like that. I invite you to close the eyes and move through feeling. Focusing less on what this shape looks like externally and how it feels internally. Knowing that whatever you're feeling right now in this moment is definitely going to shift throughout class. So just be open, ready for those shifts, those changes, those experiences to come. Knowing that you are in the right place. You can add in any movements here side to side front to back, maybe pausing. Finish the round you're on, blinking the eyes back open, tuck the toes and the hips high, downward facing dog. Just a moment here, bend into one knee and then the other, maybe shake the head out. And then inhale, lift both heels off the mat, exhale, step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up to the sky, maybe gaze up. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step back first, high plank. Shift forward, first chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale to lift the heels, exhale, travel top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold over the legs, release. Inhale, halfway, exhale, step back, chaturanga, option to skip, and even yasa. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands, sweep all the way up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, open. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, straighten the right leg, parallel the feet. Exhale, crescent towards the back of the mat. Lift the right heel, bend into the left knee. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two, open. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the left leg, parallel the feet. Exhale this time, prasarita, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen the spine. Exhale, maybe fold a little bit deeper. Beautiful, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turn towards the top of the mat, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, lift the heels. Breathe out, drop both knees. All right, we're grabbing our weight right away today. Left knee stays down, weight is in the right hand. We're in a modified side plank, so 
Left toes are in line with the knee behind you. Right toes are out long. Right arm is lifted above the shoulder and then we'll bend the right elbow right here. So we bend, extend. We're working triceps. We're gonna work our lateral obliques. Shoulders are working down, up. Start to feel your right tricep right away. Bend, extend. We got four. We got three. We're gonna add right leg in three, two, one. As you bend, you lift. As you straighten, you take the foot back down. So it's bend, extend, bend, extend. Keep breathing. Lift, lower, good. Let's do eight more. Here's eight. Seven core is engaged. Six. Five. Here's four. We're gonna keep the leg up. Elbow bent. We'll pulse it in three. In two. One right here. Just eight. Seven. Six. You're pulsing arm and leg. Four. We're moving to a combo move. I'll walk you through it. In three. In two. In one, right here, same thing. We're gonna extend the arm, take the right foot back down, then connect right elbow to left knee underneath you. Lift it back up, bend the elbow, lift the leg. So we'll take it down, connect, reach it up, bend. Your modification here, if you can't get the bottom knee off of the mat, is to stay up. So you'll bend and then pull. Bend and pull. Holy top tricep. We got eight, seven, six, and we're going to switch sides. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Right here. Weight in your left hand. Right hand down, left arm up. Same thing. Just bend, extend. All right now, your right arm is supporting you. Core is engaged, chest is broad, left arm is moving. You've got it. We got eight, seven, then we'll add the leg. Six, five, four, three, two. As we bend, we lift right here. Bend, bend, yes. Core is engaged. You've got this. Bend, bend, all right, we pulse it, three, two, one, right here, keep it up, pulse it, elbow is bent, left leg is lifted, yes, you've got it, we got eight, we got six, we're going to find that combo move, we'll start by straightening the arm, pulling the right knee in right here, straighten the arm, put the foot down, pull the knee in, reach it back up, bend, lift. Bend, pull, yes. So inner thigh is working. When you push into your left foot to pull right knee in, your core is working. <sighs> Top tricep is on fire. This is our last push. Eight more. <sighs> Six, four, three, two, one, drop it down. Woo, awesome job. Put the weight down. Plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward. High plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, we're moving to a reverse lunge. So we'll start right foot forward, left foot back, hands at your heart. We'll step it back. Step it forward, switch, right foot. All right, side to side, reverse lunge. Alternating the foot each time. Really push into the front big toe. That will stabilize your inner thigh. Therefore, stabilizing your knee joint. Keep your spine straight if you can here. If you need to lean forward, you can. We got eight, seven, 
six, five, then we're gonna hold it back in four, three, right foot will stay forward, in two, in one, hold it back, dip down, eight, seven, six, five, here's four, then we're gonna tap the left hand inside of the right foot, hop up, pull the left knee into the chest, right here, so we'll tap down, hop left knee, tap down, hop, tap, hop, low impact option, you just pull the knee into the chest, keep the right foot down, breathe, we got eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come to the top of the mat step, right foot back, right foot forward, switch. Woo, my heart rate is getting up there, side to side, back to the beginning, we do that one more time, then we're done, you've got it. Long, slow, deep breaths, forward, back, all right, we're gonna hold it back, Left foot forward, right here, dip down, dip, dip, dip. Spine is straight, feeling both quads, both legs. We got eight, we got six, we'll tap right hand inside of left foot, hop the right knee up, right here, tap down, hop up, tap, hop, tap, hop. Now you're pulling. Right knee into the chest. As you come up, really push into your standing leg. Woo. Last push, four, three. My left leg is so wobbly. Two, one. Awesome job, stay standing. You can tap, tap side to side. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Great time for water if you need it. Otherwise, we're vinyasa-ing. Top of the mat, sweep up, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, drop the knees. All right, grab your weight. Place it behind your right knee. Just an option. If it's really heavy, maybe omit it or grab a lighter weight. Squeeze it, both forearms down, interlace the fingers, core is engaged, hips are square. We're gonna kick the right leg back and then tap the right knee back down. We'll lift and lower. All right, keep breathing. We just went from a cardio focus sequence into the slow burn endurance work. So jump in when you're ready. Long, slow, deep breaths to control your heart rate. Get ready to feel the burn in the right glute. Really squeeze that weight there. We got eight, seven, six, five, four. We're gonna keep it lifted. Find a little pulse. In three, in two, one. Right here, pulse it. Lift, lift, squeeze, push, yes. You've got it. We got eight. We got six. We're gonna turn the right knee out, then back down. Right here, keep it lifted, turn out, turn down. We haven't done this one in a while. So we're just externally rotating. Right femur in the hip socket, out, down. So hard. Learn this one from my bar teacher, Adrian. It is killer every single time, getting every part of the glute. Turn out, turn down, yes. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, we keep it out, we pulse in four, three, two, one, keep it out, pulse it. We got eight, seven, six, Five, and we're gonna tap the right knee in. We'll keep it in this exact shape. So this external rotation, take it back up. 
in two, in one right here, knee down, take it out, in, out. So it's kind of like a combo between a fire hydrant and a bent knee kick back. In, out, woo! Keep breathing, eight more. Here's eight, seven, then we're switching sides. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down, awesome job. Weight goes behind the left knee now. Squeeze it there. Take your forearms down. You can interlace your fingers or palms flat, whatever your preference is. Curl the left heel in. We'll start with the bend knee kick back. We'll go back and lower. Slow controlled movements here. Find that burn. Now we're working left side. Core is engaged this whole time. It's supporting you. So it's also working here. Push, lower push, lower. And if this movement feels pretty simple to you, try to slow it down and try to really feel each part of the movement. Find that mind-muscle connection. Yes. All right, we're almost to the pulse. In three, two, one, right here. Pulse it up. Lift, lift. Push, push your highest point, and then just a little bit higher from there. Yes, lift, lift, lift. You've got it. We got eight. We got six, we'll turn it out, then down in four, three, two, one, right here. Turn out, turn down, turn out, turn down, wide center. So super slight movement, just like the other side. Might feel different in this hip. That's okay. We got eight more. Here's eight. Seven, we pulse. Six, we're there. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, little pulses. Lift, lift, keep squeezing the weight. Hamstring is working. Lift, lift, lift. Here's four. Three, we'll close it in, then open it back out. In two, in one, right here, close in, open wide, in, out. So keeping the leg in this shape, just tapping the knee, then lifting it back up to this diagonal. Yes, you've got it, last push. Believe in yourself, you've got this. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Woo! Gonna feel that one tomorrow for sure. All right, move your weight to the side. Come all the way up to stand. We're gonna move through a little bit of cardio. So we're standing facing the long edge of the mat so that we have space. Make sure your weight is out of the way. We'll start with jumping jacks right here, out, in, out, in, jump, jump, keep breathing, low impact option, step, step, listen to your body, step, step, we got eight, seven, hopefully my hair makes it through this one, six, five, here's four, we're moving to skaters, to the back of the mat first, in three, in two, in one, right here, right, left, or back, forward, whatever that is for you. Little jump, you can tap in front, you could hover the hand, you could hover the back foot. Step, step, this is your low impact option. Stay low. Yes. It's hard to move my legs after that last sequence. We got four. Three, we're moving to butt kickers. Two, one, come to center. Right here, heels in. Yes, nice. Kick, kick. We got four. 
We got three. We're moving to a squat. In two, in one right here. Squat, stand. Option to stay here. Move to a jump squat right here. Tap right hand, jump, tap left hand, jump. Lots of tapping today. You've got it. We got eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, three. Back to those jacks. Two, one, right here. Out in. Woo! Not here long. We're gonna end with skaters. Three, two, one, right here to the front, to the back. Little jump. Keep breathing, keep going. We're so close to the end. Last four, three, two, one. Come all the way up. Awesome job. Great time for water. Move to the top of the mat once you're done. Vinyasa. Step or float. Maybe skip it. We meet in down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale of the heels. Exhale, drop the knees. Grab your weight. Come down onto your left side. All right, we're gonna work biceps, inner thighs, same time. So your back foot, your right foot will step down. Left arm is supporting you. Your elbow is underneath the shoulder. Right arm is out, parallel with your left leg. Flex your left foot, send the toes down. Heel up to the sky so that we're in slight external rotation in the thigh. We'll curl as we lift the leg. Send it back out. Curl, curl. So the trick here is to keep your right elbow off of your body so that your bicep is working, contracted the whole time. Another chance to catch your breath here. So we're pairing those cardio high intensity sequences with these slower burn targeted exercises. So we have the chance to catch our breath, to come back down, feel the deep burn. You've got it. Out, in. In, curl. Oh my goodness, the right arm is feeling it. It's been a while since I've used the five pounds weight, five pound weights. In, out, you know it's hard when I can't talk during it. In, out, four more, four, three. We'll keep the leg lifted, weight at the shoulder, pulse it. Right here, keep it lifted, pulse. You can rest the weight at the shoulder if you need to. Think about really turning your inner thigh to the sky. Eight more, here's eight, seven, six, five, oh my goodness. Here's four, three, then we're gonna put the weight down. We're gonna transition to a one leg hip thrust. Right here, weight down. Hands come behind you, right foot stays down. Left foot stays in this external rotation. We'll go hips up, hips down, hips up. Hips down, option, add the left leg, lift it. Lift and lower, keep it wide. Think like a straddle, just in your left leg. Yes, lift and lower. All right, we're switching sides in four, three, two, one right here. Hips down, sweep the feet around, bring your weight with you. Weight's going in the left hand, right leg long, flex the toes. Right forearm supports you. Lift it as we curl, right here. Curl, lower, woo. Curl, lower, yes. So good. You're pushing into your bottom forearm, staying engaged, whole body. Really flex your right foot. Think about lifting with your right inner thigh. Down, up, yes. So inner thighs are really important to strengthen because they strengthen our knee joint by supporting the knee joint, stabilizing the knee joint in everyday life. Walking, running, walking upstairs, down, up, whoo. 
You've got it. We got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, we pulse, four, three, two, one, weight at the shoulder, pulse right leg, up and up, lift, lift, really feeling my inner thigh right now, four more, four, we're moving to that hip thrust, three, we'll put the weight down, two, one, right here, weight down, hands behind you, we're going to lift up, lift, lower, hips up and down, option at the leg, keep it wide like a straddle, so right inner thigh facing the ceiling. Yes, lift. Lift is our final push. Lift. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Woo, awesome job. All right, weight to the side. Lay all the way onto your back. Make sure your props are away from the top of the mat. We're gonna stretch the legs long. All right. Arms overhead. We're gonna start by just lifting the upper body. Dig the heels into the mat. Palms face each other right here. So we lift up, lower down. Sort of like just your upper body is in a hollow hold. Feel your core working. Arms are straight and active. If you need to, hands behind the back of the head to support the neck. Chin away from the chest. Curl up, lower down. Yes, four more, four, three. We're gonna keep it lifted. Find a little pulse. In two, in one right here, little lift, lift. Belly button to spine, lift, woo. Four more, here's four. We're gonna do that same motion this time we're gonna reach one foot up, tap the opposite hand to it. Right here, so we'll lay down, then we'll lift up, left hand, right foot, lay back, switch, right hand, left foot. So cross body tap, legs stay straight. Your modification, hands behind the head, just lift one leg in towards the body, or, Lift the knee, tap it with the hand. Yes, nice. Keep breathing. Like your body is a book and you're closing it. We got eight. Dig the opposite heel into the mat to help you lift. Four more. Three, we're gonna move to transverse core in two, one. Right here, take the arms by the sides now. You could sit on the forearms. Lift the legs up right here. We'll lift up for three, for two, and one lower, four, three, two, one. Lift it slow, up, up, lift, lift lower, down, 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 down. You've got it, lift lift, lift. So we went from a faster core sequence to a slower one. Same idea, get the heart rate up and then slow it down for that deep burn. A lot of times it's harder to go slower than it is go fast. Keep breathing, legs are straight and active. I like to point my toes here, you could flex them though. Eight, seven, six, five, four, one more, three, two and one release the feet all the way down take the arms out by the sides just lay on your mat for a moment take a deep breath in and a deep breath out let it go and then bend the knees in next inhale press the hips up bridge pose dig the heels into the mat as you lift and expand through the front body you could interlace the fingers underneath you Focus on the opening in the hip flexors, so right at the front of the pelvis in the low core, the quads, and all of the core muscles. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Gently release all the way back down to the mat. One vertebra at a time. Let's rock the hips side to side. Windshield way for the legs. 
massaging through the glutes. And then find a twist over towards the left, gaze towards your right hand. Right knee can be on top or it can cross under for a deeper twist. Breathe in, breathe out. If you have the legs crossed, keep them crossed, pull the knees into the chest, reach forward and then hug the knees in. Option for Gomukhasana, supine. Reach for the feet and then draw the heels towards the glutes, releasing through the hips a bit. Breathe in, breathe out. And then gently release, set the feet back down a couple times, windshield wiper the legs. Massaging through lumbar spine. And then knees to the right. You can cross your left leg, reach the left arm out towards the left and gaze towards the left hand. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next inhale, move back through center. Keep the cross on the legs if you have it. And then pull knees into the chest. If you didn't have the cross, take the cross and then find your supine gomukhasana. One of my favorites for the glutes. It always feels so good. Make sure your knee joints feel safe here though. If they don't, lessen the stretch. So release the feet. Beautiful, now release the feet, everyone. And then uncross the legs one more time, windshield wiper just a few times. And then stretch the legs long, Shavasana. Only here for about a minute. So if you want to, pause the video now and take your own longer Shavasana, go ahead and do so. Close the eyes, let the shoulders relax and drop in right away, knowing we don't have a ton of time here. How quickly can you make your way into the shape? Let the breath return to its natural rhythm. And know that this part of class is just as important as the rest of it. This practice of coming back to you, knowing that you're whole in each moment without changing anything. And simply experiencing yourself being. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Start to wiggle through your fingers when you're ready. Eventually rolling to your side, pressing yourself up into a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed or closing them back down when you arrive. Sit up tall. Collect the hands at the heart center, palms together. Take a final breath together, deepest breath in, fill all the way up. As always, finding that feeling of gratitude for your body in this moment and anything else that comes up. Keep holding. And then together, let it go through the mouth, make a sound. <sighs> Draw the hands to the forehead. Together we say namaste. Awesome work today. I hope you love this class. Please, please let me know if you did in the comments. Join the challenge if you are looking for a way to give back to yourself this month. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.